Okay, Christine. Story time. A soccer mom from outer space. It looks more like a pickle. <laughs> Kinda does, eh? Alrighty. Yeah. More like soccer pickle from outer space. Oh, that's funny. Hmm. The night before Lana played her first soccer game, her father said it was time to, he told her the true story of the soccer mom from outer space. Yeah, not so good by me. Yeah, well, it's a good story still. I need nothing. Hmm. Is this going to be like the time you told me the true story of the tap dancing potato that comes if the tooth fairy is on vacation? Lana asked. No. Uh -huh. Listen, pay attention to your story, please. Hey, yeah, sweetie. Kitty cat. Mm. Kitty cat is here. Kitty cat wants Not to Not exactly, see. said her father. What's it? This is a story about a boy named Reuben and his mom, Mrs. Drinkwater. Hey, said Lena. This is about you and Grandma. No, her father laughed. It's a story about another boy named Reuben Drinkwater and his mom. When Reuben Drinkwater joined the Atomic Pickles soccer team, his mom started acting as if she were from outer space. Oh, what's a pickle? Mm -hmm. yep. I knew it. Soccer, the soccer mom from outer space. Reuben had never thought of his mom as an alien before. After all, he had known her since he was born. If his mom were green with two heads and tentacles, he would have noticed. It would have been hard to miss if she walked through walls or communicated with the head alien back on her home planet through a toaster. I don't know At Ruben's first soccer game, his mom started out pretty quiet. A little woo here and a little woo there. He didn't really pay much attention, but sometime during the second half, while Ruben was dribbling the ball down the field, Mrs. Drinkwater started screaming. She sounded like a human siren. Woo, 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 woo. When Reuben realized that his mom was making all that noise, he tripped and fell on the grass. I've never seen you act like that before. Reuben said, Reuben said later, it was an exciting game, said Mrs. Drinkwater. It was embarrassing, Reuben told her. Oh, honey, she said, don't be embarrassed. Everyone falls down. Reuben decided his mom was acting as if she came from outer space because it was his first game. He figured she calm down by the next time he played. The following week, Mrs. Drinkwater came to the game wearing a giant pickle hat. See, you're right. Isn't this great? What are my friends going to say when they see it? Reuben asked. Oh, they'll have to get their own hats, his mom answered. Before Reuben could tell her that he didn't think anyone would want to wear a hat like hers. She started cheering. My son Rubens, number four. He can kick and he can score. Go Pickles! When the game was over, Mrs. Drinkwater skipped across the field.
Reuben watched his mom closely during the next week. She's acting like her old normal self, he thought. There is definitely something about my soccer games that make her act like an alien. Reuben was right. His mom came to the next game looking like a giant cheerleading pickle. Everyone stared at her. Mom, Reuben whined, none of the other parents are dressed like you. Oh, I know, honey, Mrs. Drinkwater said. Not everyone is as fortunate as you are. Before Reuben could say anything else, his mom started shouting, Everybody up, get on your feet. The atomic pickles can't be beat. Then Reuben heard voices chanting over and over, Go pickles, mean and green, best ball players you've ever seen. How would you feel if I came to your office and acted like a cheerleader? Reuben said to his mom after the game. Great idea, honey, said Mrs. Drinkwater. I could make you a little outfit and you could dress up like a computer. The night Reuben found his mom practicing her cheerleading in the, in the hall, I wanted to surprise you said Mrs. Drinkwater. That's okay, Reuben told her. I don't want any more surprises. In fact, all I want is for you to stop acting like a soccer, mo the soccer mom from outer space. Do you think that just because I get excited when you play soccer, am I an alien? Mrs. Drinkwater said. You sure act like one at my games, said Reuben. I suppose I could stop if that's what you really want, Mrs. Drinkwater said. Reuben looked relieved. Okay, are you sure you want me to stop, his mom asked. Yes, he said, I'm sure. Are you really sure, Mrs. Drinkwater asked him again. Yes said Reuben. I'm really sure. Are you really, really? Mom! Reuben shouted. I just want you to act like the other parents. Okay, said Mrs. Drinkwater. If that's what you want. When they got to his next game, none of the other parents were there yet. The Atomic Pickles started at Reuben's mom stared at Reuben's mom. The coach wanted to know where her pickle outfit was. I asked her to not to not to wear it, Reuben told him, but she's our biggest fan. One of the atomic pickles moaned. My mom, asked Reuben, don't you think she acts like the soccer mom from outer space? Of course we do, the whole team shouted. The more your mom cheers, the coach said, the better the team plays. Just then, Reuben saw what looked like a giant green spaceship coming in their direction. Maybe my mom really is an alien. Reuben thought for a second. It's a blimp, the coach shouted. The team cheered at the sight of their parents dressed as giant cheerleading pickles. Waving pom-poms inside the blimp, Reuben laughed. I guess I did say I want you to be like the other parents. That's good, said his mom. Now we can all act like we're aliens and you won't be embarrassed anymore. Then Reuben, his mom, and the rest of the Atomic Pickles joined in as dozens of giant pickles danced across the field, chanting, A soccer mom, a soccer dad, 
It's not so weird. It's not so bad. You see them cheering every place. They act like they're from outer space. And that, said Lana's father, is a true story of the soccer mom from outer space. I like this story better than the one about the tap dancing potato, said Lena, but I don't think anyone's parents would act so weird just because of a soccer game. Well, said Lena's father, you'd be surprised, but right now I think you should get some sleep since tomorrow's your big day. The next morning, Lena was ready for her first soccer game. And so was her family. Go Galactic Grapes! Yeah, that story is by Barney Saltberg. Thank you all. God bless, Godspeed, peace and love.